A question from a viewer is how can they produce arrows and highlights in PTE AV Studio to be able to illustrate a talk? I think we need to realize that PTE AV Studio is not really designed primarily to do this sort of thing. It's an audio visual program. It's not really a competitor of programs like PowerPoint or Camtasia. Having said that, we do have some options. Let's look at arrows first. One option is to do a search on Google for arrows clip art or arrows icons, something like that, and select the page view as images. From the tool section, we can go to color and select transparent background. Pick an arrow that you like the look of. There's one down here which says free arrow clip art. In the large thumbnail, I can right click and I can save this image into the location where I'm working. I've opened up an image into the objects and animation screen of PTE. We need to go to the top left of the screen to add an image and the image is the arrow I've just downloaded. Not very good quality at the moment because it's being made far too large. Go to your zoom controls, right click over the X and choose original. Now we have the opportunity to rotate it via click and drag here. We can move it about the screen or we can just click and drag inside of the bounding box. So we've got lots of opportunities here. But if you want to change the color, and I suppose the most obvious is white, you need to go down to your color corrections, add a filter, and you can do some experiments here. But if we go to negative, we can change it from black to white. So it's a great way to produce arrows, but it has some limitations. Lastly, we can hold the shift key and we can click and drag to distort the arrow if we need to do that too. Another option in Photoshop is to create the arrows ourselves, save them as PNGs and then use them as I've just demonstrated. To do that, we need to go to the line tool here if we look up at the top of the screen, we can see the weight. The weight here refers to the thickness of the arrow shaft. If we go to the little drop down on the cogwheel, we can choose whether the arrowhead is at the start or the end of what we're about to draw. I'll leave it at the start. And the width and the length here refers to the width and length of the arrowhead. So if I hold my shift key and click and drag, there you can see I've just drawn an arrow and in our case it's been drawn in white. I can double click my thumbnail and change that color. So that's quite quick and easy to do. Now that shaft doesn't look very well balanced against the arrowhead. So if I go up here and I adjust that to 30 and I hold the shift key and click and drag, there you can see a more balanced arrow. So all we've got to do is create a blank canvas. Let's dump this one in the bin. When we've done that, we can create our arrow. We can then save that in any color we wish into our PTE folder as a PNG file. So all of the transparent area will remain transparent. Back into PTE Objects and Animation screen, as you can see, there's the arrow I just created in Photoshop, saved as a PNG, and we've got all the same options that we had before. And we can click and rotate, move it, and even change the colors. Good thing to experiment with the color correction, but just as an example, if we go to the coloration here and red, there you can see it. If I click the panel, I could, in theory, pick almost any color from millions of colors. There we have yellow. To highlight a section of this screen grab, right click, add a rectangle. From the properties, change the vertical gradient to solid. Pick a color that's appropriate. OK. Now you can use all of the tools of PTE AV Studio to get the overlay in the position you want it. And you can adjust the size using that shift key. 
Then via the animation, you can adjust the opacity so you can see through what you're highlighting. You could even experiment with some blur. Now, as you can see here, I've made a number of arrows in different shapes. I'm going to save these as individual files and provide them for download.